Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is meant by a trimmable horizontal stabilizer or THS. First, let's see what is a trimmable horizontal stabilizer. This is the horizontal stabilizer of an aircraft and this is the elevator. In most aircraft, the horizontal stabilizer is designed such that it can be deflected to a certain angle. This is called as a trimmable horizontal stabilizer or THS. The elevator which is also installed on the horizontal stabilizer will deflect based on inputs from the pilot or the autopilot. The movement of the THS depends on some additional factors. To understand this, we need to look at what is meant by trimming an aircraft. What is an aircraft trim? An aircraft trim refers to an aircraft maintaining a particular attitude such as straight and level flight, a constant climb or a constant descent without any control surface inputs. This is achieved by deflection of a secondary flight control such as trim tabs or the trimmable horizontal stabilizers. These trim surfaces reduce the pilot's workload, assist in flying the aircraft smoothly and reduce the stresses acting on the primary flight controls such as the elevator. So when the aircraft is in the cruise phase, the trim surfaces are adjusted so that the aircraft maintains that altitude. If the aircraft was climbing, the trim surfaces may be adjusted so that the aircraft maintains a constant rate of climb. And if the aircraft was descending, the trim surfaces may be used to achieve a constant rate of descent. This is called as pitch trim. There are other trim surfaces installed on the aircraft in order to maintain a constant yaw angle or a constant bank angle. Now let's see what is a trimmable horizontal stabilizer and when it is used. The THS is mainly used to trim an aircraft such that it maintains a particular attitude as seen before. The THS will be effective over the entire operating speed of that aircraft and will be available from takeoff to landing. The THS will be deflected up or down depending on the inputs from the pilot or the autopilot. The pilot may adjust the THS by a control wheel in the cockpit and the autopilot will adjust the THS as required depending on the phase of flight. If the THS is deflected downwards, the aircraft will maintain a nose-up attitude. And if the THS is deflected upwards, the aircraft will maintain a nose-down attitude. Another advantage of the THS is that it reduces the drag acting on the tail section of an aircraft because of elevator deflection. So whenever the elevator is moved for trimming the aircraft, the THS is also moved to the same angle to reduce the drag. The THS is also helpful when the flaps are extended. The flaps are called as high lift devices since they increase the lift generated by the wings. If the lift increases, to make the aircraft longitudinally stable, more downward force should be generated at the tail section. The elevator alone cannot generate this downward force continuously as it may be required for pitch up or pitch down maneuvers. So the THS is deflected to create more downward force at the tail section instead of the elevator.
Usually, the THS movements are controlled by the autopilot through the pitch control computers. But the THS can also be controlled manually using a trim wheel in the cockpit. This would have more priority and is linked directly with the THS. The wheel should be operated carefully because even small movements on the THS will result in severe changes in the pitch attitude of the aircraft. Normally, the trim wheel is adjusted before takeoff depending on the aircraft's loading. After takeoff, the autopilot takes control of the THS. So that's all for my video on the trimmable horizontal stabilizer. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.